And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today I will be talking more about 2D arrays. Now, there are a few extra things I want to mention. This will be for a while my last Delphi tutorial on the channel because the next section covers SQL. And I don't really want to use Delphi as a way to show you how to execute SQL. So I'm going to show you how to like do SQL with um, reschools and then I'm going to show you how to use it inside of Delphi. So for a while there won't be any Delphi but you will be learning SQL which you will be needing to continue anyways. So anyway, so let's continue. So today we're going to continue with 2D arrays. Now here I have a form. I'd recommend you make this the same size. So it's 721 by 161, this rich edit right here. And then we just have a button. So this doesn't have to be the same size, but I do recommend it. So let's click on the button. Okay, so let's just control D, control S, or let's remove this. Eat. Or just control shift C. And there we go. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to create an array. Because or a 2D array at that. So we're going to create an array, which is going to keep a row of the day of the week and then a row that says how much money we have. So let's go R money. And let's say there's an array of string. Now, usually, if you say something is an array, you go here and you say one, two, wherever. In this case, we're going to say one, two, two, one through two. But because this is a 2D array, we need to also say one dot dot seven. Now, what does this actually say? Like, what, is, what does this mean? Now, if we go here and we say in, the, in a comment, so we can go like this. So it has this. And then instead of these two arrays, it has seven values. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then here we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, as an example. So it has two arrays basically inside of this one array. So this our money has two versions of arrays. So if you if you feel it will be easier, you can actually like wrap this inside of an array and then just indent this. If you feel that would actually be easier to visualize. So as you can see, we have two arrays, two rows, two rows, and each row has seven items in them or seven indexes or seven columns, whichever you want to use. So yeah, that's about it. It just has two rows and then seven columns. And that's basically what this says. It says, hey, give me an array, or give me two arrays in this case. Of course, you can make this like one to four, then you have four arrays, but anyways. And instead of each one of them, give him seven open spaces, starting at one to seven. Now, if it's still a little bit confusing, I'll keep on teaching and you can just watch. Now, let's first start with how to you know, populate a 2D array. So right here in the form create, we can go our money because we want to add days. Because let's say they did it on Monday and on Monday they got this amount of money. And on Tuesday they got this amount of money because let's say they're a pasta shop and they need amount of money for each day. So to do this, we have to say at index one, at index one. And here we can say Monday. So what are we saying here? We are saying, hey, go to index one. And as you can see, there's one to two, so it goes to index one. And I say, inside of that index one, go to index one. So it's like, okay, inside of this, so here, go to index one, here. So that's that's where it's going to be. And then we can actually just control C, D, 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 D. Uh, and then here we can go Tuesday. And then here we can go witness day and now we can just update this and then we can say stay in stay at column one stay or stay at row one 
because this has to be days. This is days. And this is the amount of money they made on those days. So then we can say one, and we can make this two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right here, what did we say? We said this should be Monday, this should be Tuesday, this should be Wednesday, this should be Thursday, this should be Friday, this should be Saturday, this should be Sunday. We just said that basically. So in row one, populate and then each index we chose. And even if you want it, you can actually display this. So let's go F12 and just click me. And then we can say four, I becomes one, two, seven, two, begin. And we can say uh, red output dot lines dot add. And right here we can say inside of it, or is this our Monday? Oh, it's supposed to be our money, not our Monday. That is my mistake. I didn't even notice I said Monday. Anyways, so you can say our money at index one at index i. And this will display a line or a bunch of lines that has those days on it because it's going to loop through this row right here. Click on it and there we go. So inside of row one, each column. That's basically what we're saying. So now that we know how that works, let's continue. So first thing we want to do is we want to fill up the array. So it says, hey, this is how much money was made that day. So I'm going to go up here and as you can see, I've already imported math. Then here I can just say randomize. And then I want to say our money at row two index i. So we're saying, okay, our money at not row one, but row two at index one, do this, then index two, do this, then index three. So then I'm going to say becomes, and I want to make this float to string. And in here, I can just say random range one to 101,000. Why 101,000? Because if I'm correct, I might be wrong, but random range only goes up to this number minus one. But anyway, so now we're basically saying, hey, make this more random and then Let's say they can make money anywhere from a thousand dollars or a thousand rand a day to one hundred thousand. And I will just filling up the array. So now let's actually display this as well. So then I can go red output dot lines dot add and we can say our money at index two at index i. So then, if we were to display this, as you can see, here they gave us a bunch of random values. So on Monday, they made 86K. On Tuesday, they made 68 and then 23. And then here, they almost made a 100K and then so on and so forth. So now both has been basically filled in. Both parts have been populated because this one has been populated with the days of the week. And this one has been populated with the amount of money they made. And this might not be a perfect example of how you should use it. But this is a, a great example to start off with. So now we want to create another variable because we want to get an output. So we can say s out and that is a string. And then we want to say s out becomes nothing because we need to make it clear first. And then we can create another for loop. So for i becomes one to two, because we want to loop through the rows now. So when I say begin, and then we want to create another for loop. So for j becomes one 
to seven because now I want to loop through the columns or the index indexes. So it's going to loop through these two first, these two first, and then through this one. So it's going to say, hey, i is one, so it's going to check for this. i is one, and j is let's say three. So it's going to one, two, three. So that's where we are. This is if i is one and j is three. Anyways, let's just control D. And in here we want to create the out. So let's say S out becomes S out plus our money at I at J. And then we just want to add a tab so we can more differentiate between everything. And then once it goes to the next to the next row, that means we have finally passed the days of the week. So we need to go to a new line so we can put the amount of money they made underneath it. So then we can go S out becomes S out plus hash 13. And then, boom, there we go. So if we want to display this now, all we have to do is we just can just go red output dot lines dot add and we can say S out. So if we run this now, we can actually see how the output looks. Click me. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing, but we'll fix this. I'll show you a way to fix this, because uh, before I stop uploading Delphi tutorials, I need to show you to fix this. So here is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and here we say, okay, it's row one, row one at this index. So at index one of row one, we have that. At index two of row one, we have that. At index three of row one, we have that, and so on. And then once we got to row two, we got our random values inserted. So now let's actually fix this output. But I hope you understand this now before we continue, because this is just a, a way to view it. But we basically just did this. I can literally go and just copy this and put this in here. And we will basically have the same output. Oh gosh. And so on and so forth. Because that is what we did. We just did that. All of that. Now I do hope you understand this because it's not going to get easier from this point. But now let's fix the tabs. Because if we run this again, I don't know why I closed it because I knew I was going to use it again. If we click here, now as you can see, like these things aren't quite matching up see as soon as wednesday hits here like things are just starting to fall apart more and more and these need to stay under each other so let's create a way to organize the tab so let's go red output dot lines i mean dot paragraph not dot lines dot paragraph dot tab count now this is the amount of tabs we were we are going to use so let's count the amount of tabs why do i keep closing it so let's count the amount of tabs we are going to use. There is zero for now. So we are going to use one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to use six tabs. That means we have to make this six because we're going to use six tabs. And then we can go red output dot paragraph dot tab and here we start at index zero let's just make this equal to something so here we start index zero so basically we're just saying hey this is the first tab we want to modify because this with a radio button where you have a negative one which is nothing then zero which is the first option is the same with this except there's no negative one there is a zero where it starts at so almost like an array but it just starts at zero. Anyways, so let's make this 40. Now let's quickly look, how does this look? As you can see, there's there's a little space in there, but 40 might make this look a little bit bigger or make, the, make it look a little bit better. Why, why? I probably just said start too quickly. So let's click here. As you can see, it made it a little bit bigger. And you actually can maybe think we're going to do some cool things now. So let's actually copy this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we can go one, two, three, four, five. So we, we're just going to go up to five. 
because this in total counts six because one two three four five six it just starts at zero and in this one right here we can maybe make this 90 and this 140 190 uh, 240 and 290 and let's run this i'll be explaining a bit more on it in a second click this and now everything just looks a little bit better except for there may be a little thing a few things here that's a bit big but you know we can fix that so what's happening here how what's 40 even mean what does 90 mean well i don't know really if you want me to be honest usually even my teacher just told me to guess guess what this value should be if it doesn't work out then get another value so let's go here to wednesday so that's tabs of zero one two okay so let's change two here let's instead of making it 140 we make it the same as the top one so we were to close this and we were to run this then let's see what would happen click and ooh, something really strange happened here i don't know why it happened i don't know how it happened but it happened Let's maybe make this 100 and see what happens now. Because now it's bigger instead of smaller than that previous value. Strange things happening here. Do I know what's happening? To be honest, not really. Click it now. And now it just looks better. But you might be asking, okay, then why don't we make it bigger? So we make it 150. If we were to run that, as you can see, it would get bigger. I don't know why it does that specifically, but you can just make that bigger until it actually fits and looks correct. So let's look at this one. So this tabs up to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 at Friday. So Friday is 4. Now, instead of 240, I think it's too big. So let's make it uh, like 220. 220 might be perfect. Click the button. As you can see, it is smaller, but it's a little too small. So let's make that a bit bigger, so 230, and let's make this one a bit smaller, so 260. And let's see if that makes it look any better. And no, it quite didn't. I made this one a bit too small. Because, as you can see, these are not quite matching up. But you just have to play with them. You just have to go around and play with them and make sure they look fine. Sorry, that's my timer. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you all understood what I'm talking about when I talk about 2D arrays. Because I won't be covering them again, unfortunately. But I hope you all understood that. And I hope you all understood this. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And... See you all in the next video.